Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we had lots of clouds around today. Not too much in the way of showers, fortunately. It was a mainly dry day. We are looking at the chance of some more showers tomorrow. And then we'll have a dry stretch ahead before whatever becomes of Matthew approaches. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're looking at dry conditions out there at the moment. Threat tracker for tonight, Monday and Tuesday. Low chance of anything severe. We've got lots of clouds out there still. Now through the night, there might actually be a little bit of drizzle development in spots. Temperatures are coolish in the mid to upper 50s. 55 in Smithfield, 59 in Providence. New Bedford right now is at 59 degrees. Satellite radar picture showing lots of clouds across the entire Northeast. Notice this batch of showers back in here across western New York State associated with an area of low pressure, upper levels of the atmosphere especially. That'll be swinging overhead during the latter part of the day tomorrow and may actually scare up a few rain showers in the area. Let's track them with our future cast. Here we are. Uh, this evening, a fairly quiet first thing tomorrow morning. And it actually wouldn't surprise me if there's a little bit of sunshine first thing in the morning and even into the afternoon might find some splashes of sun. But during the afternoon might find a few rain showers in the area and they should be out of here for Tuesday. Notice those showers weren't terribly widespread. Widespread showers and thunderstorms here in the Caribbean. This is Matthew, still a category four storm. The winds came down just a little bit, but uh, only about five miles an hour worth of wind, 145 miles mile an hour sustained wind moving to the northwest at five miles an hour. We are expecting Matthew to work its way northward between Jamaica and the southwestern part of Haiti as a category four storm. Talked about this earlier in the morning. It's possible parts of Haiti could be seeing one to two feet of rain. Yes, feet of rain. Some isolated higher amounts are possible and that could be catastrophic to that country. We are looking at that storm to work its way into the Bahamas and notice the time frame here Thursday and into Friday. That's when it begins to leave the Bahamas. Where does it go from there? Well, it could threaten the eastern seaboard and all indications, at least at this point in time, is that it'll be turning out to sea, but coming close enough that we'll see some indirect effects, some wind and some rain possible and obviously some large ocean waves, but keep in mind, this is still talking about a week away. This would happen next weekend and things could change. So we encourage you to stay informed throughout the upcoming week. So overnight tonight, about 54 degrees for your low, a little drizzle in spots for your Monday. We'll start the day. I think it'll be dry, maybe a little bit of sun in the afternoon. Might find a few rain showers, a little bit warmer tomorrow, about 68 degrees because we get a, a little bit of sunshine from time to time. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Now on Tuesday, we will be seeing the skies clearing out. Temperatures will be topping out in the mid 60s. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday look quiet. Now next weekend, that's where we may begin to see the effects of Matthew. It looks like it passes off to our south and east, but again, a lot could change there. And we are looking at some rain, wind and large ocean waves. And at this point in time, it looks like most of the impact or effects, I should say, would be on uh, Sunday of next weekend, which of course is Columbus Day weekend, three day weekend. So right now it looks a little unsettled. All right, we'll continue to follow. TJ, thanks. Coming up in sports, eyewitness news at 6.